Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think the idea that uh, sticks with me from Occupy the most, and I hope, and I also think from doing this book, is that uh, it, the most important thing you can do is really care about uh, getting your opinions formulated and getting your opinions out there and living a life that you use those opinions on what you think is important and, and what you value and, and striving towards making that possible. And, and I think that Occupy is a lot of divergent voices that are anti-authoritarian to just people who want a fair shake. And I think, uh, you know, figure out what you want to do and figure out what causes you care about. And it's not a crazy idea to say, how can we foment a movement that matters and works if everybody just actually strove to achieve a world they want to live in, achieve a country you want to live in. It's not a really hard concept. If you care about people, work to be good to people. If you care about the idea that housing is a, it shouldn't be a privilege, work to make sure housing isn't a privilege. If you care about people sleeping on the streets, and think that's wrong, help people not sleep on the streets. If you think that corporate-run media is a problem, work to not have corporate-run media. I don't think it's a, a difficult equation. I think that's the power of Occupy, is that a lot of people together have a lot of different voices, but from that you get the idea that action is possible, and you know any world you want, you can work on making. It's not, it's not rocket science. It's, it's basically just, you know, be the person you want to be and help other people be the people they want to be. Um, I think ultimately what Occupy did was force you know the people in power to realize that people do care about these issues and that you know uh, you know a mass of people can be as powerful a group as a lot of money and as long as you know people keep talking and people keep thinking about the issues the people in power will have to address them. And I think we've already kind of seen that with, you know, Democrats pushing a little bit harder and realizing that, you know, you can't take things for granted because people will get mad. And, uh... um, I want to see all of those things. And uh, I want to see people being um, empowered and a, and a new normalizing of not just protest of like, here's my sign and then I go home and you heard me so I got my job done, but um, of direct action, of blockades, of people in the street doing things, um, of stopping foreclosures, um, putting putting their bodies on the line. Um, it's not something we've seen in America a whole lot lately and um, I would love to see that on a, um, on a really uh, decentralized sort of landscape. I mean, that was that was the whole point of Occupy, was that there were Occupies everywhere. You could occupy everything. And uh, I think that that's incredibly empowering, and it kind of scaled. It kind of did, but it didn't really. And I would I would love to see more of that. Um, I'm sorry, starting with Mark, we have to be quick. Yes. <laughs> that we can um, really hone into specific things as well. Um, I think, personally, my story is about student loans. It's something that really affects my life every day. And um, so I'm, ta I'm telling a much more personal story. Um, those are just the type of stories that I tell. But I love it that there's, there's such a variety and this is a great uh, place to be able to do that. For me, ideally, the very first step uh, that should come for everyone from this is a much greater sense of real personal responsibility. I think it's very easy to be like, what are they going to do next? You know, but it's not. It's what am I going to do next? You know, actually, people who really care about this and pay attention to it will decide. This is it's basically I very much agree with what you were saying. Um, actually, I think I'm going to have David help the floor. I'm sure he's going to this. Right. Well, in my opinion, what we'll Occupy Movement has to do, uh, despite its hatred of centralisation, it has to become a movement as card-carrying members. You have to all join, you have to all become Occupy members. All get together, because then localisation becomes national. Local movements can join together, and you can decide what you're going to do, you can uh, get on Facebook and uh, talk to each other and become a real national movement with objectives that's, that is bonded. Without everybody being bonded in this movement, it's never going to have any power. Uh, that's the history of any movement. A movement has to be, has to have 
complete identity and be bonded together. You've got to be you've got to be card carrying, and uh, and that is the success. That's how you'll be successful. I'm that's my view. I think in a very general sense, I would like to see um, the Occupy movement carry out, uh, bring together, bring a, a conversation on how we can make money become a tool that we can use instead of being a, us being the tool that the money uses. And, um, and I would also like to uh, see us be able to have conversations. Like I think everyone here have, probably has the crazy aunt or uncle or cousin who's posting pictures of themselves shooting elk in the or whatever, you know, and you can call, you know, type them up and say, hey, what's up? And have an actual conversation. And it's, I've done it with a lot of my family who's, who's pretty conservative, and it's actually very enlightening, I think, for both of us. So we should be, we're all in this together. I think overall, um, the fact that there are so many different points of view and they're all relevant and they're all important is what the point of the Occupy movement is and the point of Occupy Comics. Um, Occupy Comics was uh, just one forum that we wanted to continue the discussion. Um, the hallway outside will be another forum and it's all <laughs> a creating forum. Thank you all for coming.